to prepare you for what's to come in a moment, here's a poem written in the form of a letter. Dear Sir, never bite your fingernails, it makes your fingers lumpy. Never bite your fingernails, you're sincerely stumpy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the perpetrator of the offering to the English language, Walter McCorriscan. Right, so I've given an example of how awful you can be, yes. the stumpy one. Can you get worse than that? Yes, I believe I can. You can. This is two poems about people. Some people have funny ears, and ignorant people scoff. But if it wasn't for your ears, your spectacles would fall off. <laughs> yeah, that's fairly uh, terrible. Don't, don't join in the chorus in the next one, because there, there's no chorus. A poor lady. A woman fell off her rocking chair, and people came to mock her. For they said to one another, she must be off her rocker. <laughs> they are truly awful, but that, that's the... <laughs> but that's, that's a compliment, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's, yeah. Because if you had said they were good, I'd have been very deeply wounded. You would? Yes. Yeah. How do you know, in fact, that you are the world's worst poet? Because people tell me. They not only <laughs> tell me I'm worse, they tell me I'm terrible. <laughs> and uh, I get letters from all over the world. People are astounded when they read so much rubbish. They tell their friends <laughs> that it's unbelievable and their friends come to see this. And, and that's the reason why. I, I thought actually that, uh, that McGonagall, a uh, fellow countryman of yours, was recognised as the worst poet. Well, the sad thing about McGonagall, he thought he was the equal of Shakespeare. He thought he was good. The, the one advantage I've got over McGonagall, I know I'm bad. I know <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> does, it, does it feel a great responsibility, though, with you now, well, this, this title? Actually, I'm Scotland's third national bard who had Burns and McGonagall, and I'm the only one left now to carry it. It's a tremendous responsibility. It must weigh very heavily on you. <laughs> inwardly, or outwardly, rather, I don't show it. But inwardly, I go through hell. I bet you do. I do. I'm under constant pressure. All right, fine. You look to be under constant pressure. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's, let's, let's look at some of your poetry and listen to it now. Now, you've written a poem about poets, haven't you? Let me get your bag. Put your bag yes, there. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to put a padlock on it. Uh, this one sums it all up. This is about poets. Hark the poets are at the river. Ah, what poems, what gems they spring. And when they've all been bored to tears, see them throw each other in. That's very, very good indeed. Now, what, now tell me, um, in all the truly awful poems that you've written, in, in a lifetime of writing truly awful poems, what is the worst, worst poem that you've ever... Well, I think this, this is in this little book here. Uh, it's about a dog. <laughs> I, like, I like animals. Yes. I'm, I'm kind to animals and old people and children. And uh, I think if I'm kind to you, I'll get on fine. <laughs> now, where are, this is the one. This is a ballad, is it? Yeah. Yes. I had a notion for a nice wee dog, and my man, he said to me, you'll be awful pleased with this wee dog with its original pedigree. Well, I was proud of my own wee dog, and although it was only wee, other dogs were jealous, for boy, that dog could pee. <laughs> I not let me say that on, on Nationwide. They said, uh, don't let them pee, let them pinkle, because they might frown on it. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, I'll carry on. Aye, that wee dog could cock its lug, but it cocked its leg for by. And people hearing a splashing sound stared anxious at the sky. <laughs> I took it to the training school to learn to sit and beg. But I was fair embarrassed when it piddled down my leg. <laughs> I took it on a bus one night 
and that job he'd on the flare. <laughs> and when the clippy saw the mess, she threw a drunk man down the stair. <laughs> Not quite finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> it is awesomely bad, this one. <laughs> but now my dog is big and strong and can fetch and sit and lie. And when he looks at me yon way, a tear comes in my eye. Gay lonely was my life before, but now my day's complete. When I settle in my chair at night and he stretches at my feet. Thank you. That's very good. <laughs>